Hi, it's Simon Stockhausen here with another tutorial for PPG Phonum. Uh, in this one, let's have a look at the track modulator, uh, which is here. So first, we will enter some new lyrics. Spring time and the birds are singing using no i didn't want the male voice i wanted a female voice so f2 text is still in there press enter again good let's listen to it yes it's too fast yeah, nobody will understand that, but that's not the point. Because I want to now add a different pitch for each syllable or each phoneme. That's what um, the track, the upper track modulator is used for. Um, be aware that this is absolute. So if you have root key C3, now let's move that to C5, so the center C3 will actually sound like a C3. Now this line is a C1, so we should first move it up two octaves, the whole thing, doing this like that. On the right, you just use the scroll wheel of your mouse, C4, G4, C5. Otherwise, it will like overwrite the root note, if you know what I mean. Let's save this for now. Yes, okay. Now, resolution up. Let's make it a bit slower. And you re you already have noticed that there is no like quantization for the track pitch. So you have to use your ear to actually get the pitches right. This is good and bad. Um, good if you have good hearing, because you can sort of smear the, the notes and also do microtonal stuff. But of course, you should compare it sometimes with chromatic pitches because it can sound off, although it might sound good on its own. Okay. Ah, first we have to actually activate the pitch tracking here, pitch track. And now we can work. And if you want to uh, like listen to each syllable, then you can use the frame mode. That way you can also tune the pitches better. So that's the only reference we have is the G as a vi visual reference. But in frame mode it's actually quite possible to tune them sensibly. It's 
here we have a smear. So let's see how that sounds. Okay. Let's do something here at the back. Go back to frame mode. Okay, that should do. Okay, let's create a loop. Loop it back and forth. We could also use now a LFO to control phone in position, but let's leave that for later. Come on, I just want to have a loop here. What am I doing? Oh. I'm in the wrong window, sorry. Okay, loop. Let's boost the beginning, there's nothing here. can just drag the envelope down, then it will start a little into the phonum chain. Let's smoothen the gain. Okay, now we have another track lane below which we can use in the matrix to modulate all kinds of things like vibrato, growl, whatever. So let's randomly add for now some values for the second track. So these are then linked to each phonem which can give very interesting expressive things. So this phrase we want, we will later apply this to vibrato. So when he goes up or she goes up, she can have plenty of vibrato. And some here in the back because there we have no pitch stuff happening. Okay, now let's move to the matrix. Here's the track the track modulator. Now let's use that to modulate the intensity of LFO1 for instance. And then we will assign LFO1 just down here to pitch which is here. Oh that's a new bug. Okay. So now LFO1 is assigned to pitch and the second the track modulator is assigned to the depth of the LFO. First we turn the depth the entire depth down to 0 adjust the speed of the vibrato 
Use a sign. That's a bit much. Now let's use track also to use some growl, pitch growl effect, which is here, pitch mod with growl 1, dial that in, track, and then edit the growl modulator, I usually use lower speeds, Turn it down, it doesn't matter anyway. So now the second track, as you hear, is creating vibrato and growl effect. And you could add more stuff. You get the idea. So these are very powerful modulators. Um, if you want to create expressive lines and... Uh, yeah, it sounds quite human sometimes. Okay, that should be it for this one. Have a good day. Bye.